This weekly Blender competition is brought to you by Grant Abbott. Grant Abbott provides Blender tutorials for beginners and experienced users such as sculpting, modeling, texturing, animating and a lot more. So make sure you check out his channel and Discord if you haven't already. You can find the link in the description. Welcome at the weekly Blender competition number 20, which I'm going to criticize the art entries and choose some winners. And the subject for this week was to create a creature. We have 11 entries and I really appreciate that you guys have joined. Now keep in mind if you have some feedback for me, then leave a comment. Now keep in mind if you have some feedback for me, then leave a comment because that is very important to improve my work. And our first entry is of Hercules.art. She says in Discord, meet Kiko, the fluffy alien, my entry for her the competition. I really like what you've been making here, a fluffy alien. You don't see that a lot fluffy aliens, uh, most of the time they were called monsters. Um, what I really like about this is the color for the background and the foreground. It really matches up. It's not like dark and dark, light and light. It's just dark and light, uh, which is a very good touch. Um, I've been talking about that the last few competitions. That's very important. Um, the hair though, it looks very good, it looks very randomy. Uh, there also seems to be a little bit of color changes into here. I don't know if that is by light or that you really made it into there. Um, there are also things that I like lesser, for example, what are these two black um, things above and down there. Uh, you can cut it off easily down here because that is just way too much. It's not like you're looking at a movie screen. Uh, it's just an art picture. And or uh, down here, you should have just um, continued this ground down here. Uh, these two things are just what would be called uh, beauty mistakes. Um, anything else is going to be more of a personal thing. What I would have done is made the eye itself uh, just white. Leave out the brown in the eye. Just, uh, for here, the brown is, is very nice. Uh, what would also be a nice thing, but more of a personal uh, is add this brown for the lips itself and um, you know just to match it up a little bit more um, so yep I like it creatures are a difficult thing to make and I think you've done a good job entry number two is a video of happy happy doesn't say anything in discord which is fine we're gonna play this video I throw out a lot of things that uh, I like about it uh, this monster kind of remind me that it could be easily from Doom or something. Um, let's just take a look while it's on pause. Uh, what I really like are these um, these details onto these uh, tentacle arms, which are on the top and the horns. Looks like um, these are very yeah, like shielding something, uh, fat muscles or whatever that is. I really like. The attention of detail onto that. Uh, also, the scratches. We got some veins or muscles. Um, yeah, you didn't uh, leave any part untouched. I also see that you've done a lot on painting, which I like a lot. Um, I really love the flesh color separate from the, uh, the outside skin, which is just a very nice touch down there. Uh, the teeth set from nice colors. The tongue has some nice colors. Uh, also, the eyes. I only wish that the detail on the eye itself, so the, the, the blackout here and um, what is it called, the iris, would be a little bit sharper. It looks like a little bit blurred out onto this, uh, which is a little bit of a shame because the model itself really, really looks nice. And uh, I think you've done a very good job. Uh, this easily could be in a uh, Doom game. So good job with that, Happy. And uh, I, I believe it's the first time I see your name, so uh, welcome to the competition. Entry number three is of Crunch. Crunch says in Discord, poor rendition of a Moat dip. I've got no idea how I need to pronounce that. Um, I'm just going to go with Jerboa. That's easy for me to pronounce. Uh, they kind of look like what you got here. Maybe it's the same one, but you just got a different name or maybe it's the family of it. Uh, from a book or whatever. Uh, I just find it easy and I just um, call it Yerboa. So let's take a look at it. Uh, I have a little bit of difficulty with this picture to be honest. Um, uh, I do like it. You are very much well on your way to create a creature here. I think it's very uh, brave. Um, of course, the tail needs to be a little bit more smooth because it looks like it has been hit by a car and the tail is um, broken. 
Um, the another thing is, I don't know exactly what is going on up here. Like, is this like feather fur? That you use a particle system and then let fur stick out here? Or is this painted? Or, um, because over here it looks like it's feathered fur, which I like a lot. You see that in, uh, more and more games these days, they use like, um, yeah, real feathering, real fur onto it instead of just a picture, uh, which I like a lot. Um, I think it looks cute though. Uh, for the background though, make it a little bit more, I would say, lighter. So if you add, uh, if you have been adding a HDRI, uh, you can increase the strength to 1.5 or maybe 2 and it will be a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, and also Grant has a trick video onto his channel where he shows you how you can have this creature stand onto a piece of ground and let the light make a shadow onto the ground. But then in the end, he shows you how to separately render this creature from the ground so the shadow looks faked. And then you can place a background like this onto it. Um, I don't know if I see your name before. Um, welcome to the competition. Uh, I think you have done so far a very nice job. I really like it. It's very cute. Entry number four is of just me. And just me went a little freaky out here. Um, you spend a lot of time to sculpting here. Um, there's a lot of detailing going on. I really like how this, whatever this is, is just strangled around it. Uh, you got a lot of details in the skin here. Um, this crazy random stuff going on. Uh, I really like this. Now, you place this into the uh, the chat. Ask it, uh, you know, if it was okay. And then I said, yeah, it looks okay. Uh, I, I would add something, but I wouldn't spoil it. So I guess I can do it now. This kind of reminds me of something that would be inside a body. That might sound freaky. So what I would have probably done is end up using a particle system and let uh, tiny little things fall down and then um, make the focus onto this thing. So it almost looks like dust or uh, it's inside a liquid or... I would just do something with the surrounding. The black and the red is just fine though. Um, yeah, you, you you don't seem to have anything with it, which is okay, but it's more of a personal thing to just add a little bit into the environment to make it look like it's inside a body or, um, yep. I really like that. Entry number five is of Kishore. And Kishore says in Discord, it's been 17 days that I know Blender. This is my first time sculpting something in Blender. And I am quite happy with it. I think I'm very weak at shading. So any suggestion would be appreciated. The creature is a combination of slime and slug. Hope you guys like it. <laughs> slime and slug. Um, Sure. Sure, it could do with a creature. I think this is also a nice creature to be like uh, in in monsters monster movie together with uh, the one of Hercules. Um, yeah, okay. So I like what you've done with the shape. It's very shapey. Um, the only thing that I would say is for next time because you made it look uh, uh, see through. Uh, make the head and the body out of one piece so you don't have this stuff down here because now uh, it looks like the body has been put onto or the head has been put onto the body. It's very clear that you've done that. Um, I like that you gave it a chance. So uh, welcome to the, uh, the Grand Discord and the competition. Uh, I really like that you've joined. Uh, another thing that I would just say, if you would like to show off a creature, what the best thing you can do uh, in this case, when you use like a circle disc to, you know, put a creature on it as a showcase, uh, try to make a square picture. Try to angle this perfectly inside the picture with the creature onto it. Uh, this angle is almost just perfect. You just need to cut it off here. Um, put a little bit of the bottom with it, just make it nice square, aim it perfectly. This picture is, is kind of getting nice. Uh, you only need to put the creature more into the middle. Maybe I'm too Mr. Perfect, but uh, this picture um, wouldn't do. I would rather go for this. Um, I really like how you put the eyeballs in there. 
give it some uh, black color to it. Uh, yeah, for the first time, uh, just been busy with Blender. It's it's uh, it's very good. I hope you, um, you know, the tips is something for you. Uh, like you said, shaders, but I think it's it's very nice, very uh, very uh, um, slimy. Uh, what you could have done is um, grab a little. Um, you know like make little spots onto it where where he's going so he's going forward make a few like drops behind him with the same color like it's really you know slimy like dragging the stuff behind him um yeah that will be that thank you for joining entry number six now this is also a name that i've been googling because i uh, have no idea how i need to pronounce it i did <laughs> I did search it, and if I'm not wrong, it's Polish name, mm -hmm. and you pronounce it Pianki Debichel, and it means beautiful devil. Correct me if I'm wrong, I just, uh, yeah, I really had a hard time pronouncing this in the English, because, you know, I'm Dutch, and in Dutch we say things different than English. Um, your artwork, my six-year-old son drew me a monster to try and create in 3D. This is result so far. That's very cute, though. Uh, a tomato monster with glowy eyes. That's um, very scary, though. And he got a uh, knife stuck in his head. Uh, your six-year-old son. Oh, boy. Is he watching movies, playing games, all that violence. Um, I like it. Uh, the tomato does have a little bit of a strange skin, I would say. The tomato has a little bit more um, reflection onto it, more shininess. Of course, it has some humps and bumps here and there if you look very close up to it. Um, but this is almost not visible for human eye. Like, it's a tomato. should be nice, shiny, like a knife. I really like this knife model, by the way. I also like that you've used a little bit of red light onto your scene. Um, I would also say the... Uh, I believe this is from, you know, the kitchen furniture. It should be a little lesser shiny. Um, and make a lamp uh, coming from behind the camera onto the object. Just give it a, like, a 0 0.10. I don't know, 10. And then just watch if you can see a little bit more going on underneath. It's just, like, sometimes very small... Uh, amount of light could show a little bit more details, especially when you're working with a very dark scene. It's very important still to get lights from all the sides. Uh, just shine it up just a little bit. Uh, I really like this, um, I don't know what I would call it, a bread plate or, you know, where you cut your bread on or... Um, I really like this. It has some detail into it. Um, yeah, the kitchen tiles uh, could be a little more shinier, but... Um, and overall, I really like this creature down here. It would be something for Halloween. Very freaky. So I'll tell your son he has done a uh, nice job um, drawing this. And uh, welcome to the competition. Entry number seven is of Erwin Sunny Ray. Erwin Sunny Ray says, Dreamed of a creature that kind of looks like this, so I try to remember as much as possible. Anyways, here's my weekly creature. Well, remember your dreams is a difficult thing. Um, I woke up this morning and something 1,000. And I was like, 1,000? I had more than ever, but I just can't remember with what it was. So, remembering your dreams, if you can do that, it can be very vi valuable. Uh, because you made a very nice creature here. It... Uh, yeah, it seems a very jumpy creature. It can jump very far away. It also kind of reminds me of a little bit of monkey something, but I think it's because the tail. So it can, you know, grab its tail on roots or something, and it has like a frog face, and... Oh, man. Hope it was a fun dream, but not a scary dream. Uh, I really like the eyes, too. Yeah, frog, monkey, monster. It's definitely a nice creature. Um, the color combination is a uh, nice um, red and green, can go well together with the black background. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else actually to say about it. Uh, is this texture paint or is this just a texture you've used onto it? Mm. 
Okay. Uh, anyhow, a uh, very nice uh, cre creation of a creature. Entry number eight. Oh man, it's bloody hot in here, by the way. Is of Crave. And uh, Crave made a, <clears throat> a baby. The orange. And he made uh, this down here that I don't want to pronounce because be monetization. Even though I don't make any buck of this, but that's okay. Uh, I only don't know what this is. Uh, it's it says states, maybe United States. Um, oh, I got a feeling I've seen this before somewhere. Oh, but I can just not remember. Is this is United States Space Force or something. Like it has to be something to do with this flu, right, Mr. President? Oh man. So I I, uh, I like how you've used a little bit of misty stuff in here, which is yellow, just like himself, just like the body. Um, I really like the little rocks here on the ground. I just have to say that not, nothing to do with the creature. Um, <laughs> creature. Uh, the baby looks very nice. I would say nice little shape. A lot of fat here and there. Baby fat. Um, yeah, I like it. You like it too, Mr. Yellowface? Oh man, I really like this spray thing here. I wonder how you've been making this. Maybe just a texture or something. Um, yeah, I like the picture and overall I don't have too much to say about it. Uh, the picture itself is very clear, I think. Um, yeah, a nice one from Crave again. Uh, ah, yeah, he says also in Discord an orange creature launches a space force okay there we go devoted to the flu victims i see okay there we go all right entry number nine is a video of uh, great jack gaming and great jack gaming says in this court half line half dragon lizard environment was downloaded a set which is okay let's take a look at this video oh boy wasn't that very interesting? Uh, anyhow, I understand that you just want to show like the whole model. That's why you have made this video. Um, so I didn't check out what you were saying in Discord before. So I tried to, you know, check it out myself. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a uh, saber tooth. The body here, the front. Um, uh, yeah, while the front, yeah, reminded me of a lizard. And um, the fur really seems to be something from a beaver or something, or uh, something like yeah, like that, like a, a bear fur. Um, yeah, the environment really looks like he should die sooner or later. Um, you could also just, you know, make like a layer, a round platform and just scale it around. Uh, might have been a little better. Um, you know, a sets are fine, but it doesn't always make it look good because this fur really looks nice i have to say i really like that um the skin itself it's something new um it looks a little bit i don't know something marble-ish uh not marble for marbles but marble stone maybe i pronounced it the wrong way um yeah it's a very strange kitsch at all i hope i don't ever get to see it in real life in uh in the rainforest uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I don't have too much to say any other than, yeah, maybe just make it next time on a round platform display. Just go around it, make it into a a seamless loop. Um, and yeah, I just really love the fur, though. It's it's really, yeah, really looking good for a beaver or a bear. or um, And I like the idea of mixing up a lion with a lizard stuff. Uh, anyhow, good job on that, Jack Gaming. Entry number 10 is of Shadik Scarlet. Shadik Scarlet says in Discord, In this work, on, off, my main inspiration, it was the anime Evan Lion. Evanch, Evanch Lion. Um, you've made something a little big. Uh, what, uh, there are things I like, there are things that I not really like. Um, the things what I like is you have made very, very detailed feathers down here, uh, which is very nice. But then again, the other parts of the body are very low-ish detail. Uh, it really looks like watery cement or something. Um, 
compare that with the feathers, it's a little bit of a shame, I would say, but I could be wrong in that this is in the anime uh, done the same way. Um, maybe it should be lesser shiny, that could help, or um, maybe a little bit of a texture onto uh, the body. Um, but then again, I haven't seen the anime. Uh, another thing is the background of the um, space itself, it's really low poly. It, doesn't really add anything to this total picture while the earth it looks very nice together with the feathers looks very nice um the creature itself it looks very is detailed it is a little bit blurred out um i seen the details are not very sharp which is okay at least you have spent some time to it to the details which could also be a thing onto his uh wing so there's a little bit details like you've done here a little muscle or veins or um, stuff like that. Uh, I haven't seen the anime. I don't really watch animes. Um, but I think you've done a good job on the overall scoped. Uh, trying to get your idea on picture. Uh, good job, Shadrick Scarlet. And the last entry, number 11, is of Chardon Grey. Chardon Grey made... Um, let me read. I made this a little bit more change to jellyfish, including the materials and a little bit of lighting. So I am uploading the old one and the new one. The only thing that I, you should do for next time is, you know, place at the picture which one is the old one, which one is the new one. Uh, I did figure out it myself uh, because... Yeah, old one and new one. Yeah, maybe you can say the old one, new one. Because I had a little bit of difficult time with this. Because even though I know which one is the old one, new one. Like you said, the first one, the old one, new one. Uh, I was thinking this was the new one. Um, now, there are some things that I like from one picture. There are things I like from the other picture. Uh, maybe mix them up together. Uh, okay, so here we go. Now, the, the old one. What I really like about this old one are a few things. First of all, the background would fit in more with this, with the jellyfish, uh, would also fit in a little bit more um, with the top of his head, I would say. I really like this effect down here uh, that, that will that is made because of the blue, it's really nice, uh, while on this picture it's a little bit... Yeah, I don't know, the effect is a little bit gone, probably because of this grayish uh, background. Uh, the blue really makes something nice out of it for some reason. Um, but a more of a personal thing. Um, what I also like more about this picture, what I like less about this picture, is uh, these little uh, balls down here. Um, for some reason it has a really, really nice effect. It really is really a sharp thing. While on this picture it's it's lesser. It's It doesn't come out as sharp as on this one. This really... The colors come out very nice, uh, the dark and the light, and here it's, yeah, to be honest, I like this here, uh, this here with the background more than your newer picture, um, but there's also something about your new picture what I like more than this picture, is the overall light of the jellyfish is more even, which I like a lot, um, it's difficult, difficult to, I Ah, man. I still think I would like this one more than this one. Um, I think it's also because uh, I don't like what what's going on with this down here. If you look at this one, uh, it's also not nice. What I maybe would like more is if this at the side, I think it's, I don't know if it's called a skirt. It looks like a little bit of a skirt. If this skirt has a little bit of alpa onto it uh, a little bit more jelly look uh, with this stuff coming uh, here uh, you see through you see this ball coming through i think that would look a lot more nicer um yeah it's difficult like sometimes when you totally change something there is one thing that could be nice um, but it can also destroy some other things uh, would be nice but it's more of a personal thing that there should be a mix of both in once and would be a nice picture down in the middle uh yeah stuff like the only thing that i really like here is more overall color is the same well here it's different um 
the background, the effect, and the balls is something that I like of this one. Hope it's not too confusing. Um, yeah. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose a few objects where you guys can win on, uh, what also makes sense, of course, to win on. And then I'm going to uh, reveal some winners. I gave myself a lot of time to think why someone should win, why someone shouldn't win. And there are a few people that match up together. And I really debate why one should and why one shouldn't win. Um, the categories this time is going to be objective, detailing, lightning slash coloring, realism, simplistic slash minimalism. Now, first of all, um, I'm going to go with the detailing. The winning of the detailing of the creature is going to be Happy. Because I really think Happy done a very nice job on giving detail to his creature, not only um, with the sculpting, but also with the painting. Uh, very nice, very good job. Um, you have like veins going on, you got like scratches going on, uh, you got almost something that looks like armor is plates. Um, just keep on going with sculpting, keep on going with texture painting, and it will only be a lot more better in the future. Um, but congratulations, happy with the detailing. The lightning slash coloring winner of the creature, I had two people in mind um, that mess up very well. Um, but I'm, let me just explain you who didn't want of it. Um, Hercules didn't want because uh, it needs a little bit more work onto it. Um, but I really like the coloring on here. I really like how the light coming off uh, on and off onto the fur down here. Um, but it's, it's just not it. This black stuff needs to go away, the the ground needs to continue, um, the eyelids, it's, uh, this needs to be yellow and then or either choose the brownish uh, around the eye also for the lips uh, or either choose the color of the lips also for around the eyes and then this picture would be a lot more just perfect. It's just like a few small things that um, make me choose someone else and in this case that person is going to be Crave um, because I really like the, um, the mist and the light coming out of one side. Um, I really like the overall colors. It's a lot of yellow and, and blackish uh, kind of a thing. And there's this one thing red. Um, but I really like this in overall with lightning coloring. So congratulations Crave on winning that. Now for the realism, I there's actually only one people in, you know, uh, my mind that comes very close to it and that is going to be shot and gray um, because you know a jellyfish is already something realistic in our life um, it's just that something needs to be mixed up here with a picture in the middle that would be the perfect out of two um, but still I think it's very nice uh, done in the deep sea you don't really see much any other than the fish itself so. Most of us know those videos. So Sean and Gray, uh, congratulations on winning the realism of the creature. Uh, the simplistic minimalism winner. I actually have three people on mind um, uh, who come close to the minimalism and simplistic. Um, now, first of all, I'm going to say Kishore, uh, just keep joining uh, Blender. You just joined. Uh, you've been saying that you're new to Blender. You're you're just playing around with it keep playing around with it uh, listen good to other people uh, watch tutorials and stuff because I know for sure if you spend a little bit more time on blender that you can do a lot of fun stuff and come close to those two people which I had in mind for the minimalism slash simplistic uh, position um, the winner is going to be Erwin Sunny Ray because I just find this a little bit more simplistic and minimalistic uh, than the one of Pikni. Um, tell your uh, son that he needs to keep painting for the uh, competition and then one day he certainly you know can feel like a winner. Uh, I really do like the idea of the tomato being a, uh, a radiation monster down here um, but this needs a little bit more work onto the tomato texture itself I mean the surrounding looks uh, almost all on point except for the tomato itself um, looking very dried out or whatever um, I still like this idea that you uh, let your son 
um, paint something and then you try to fix it uh, you should definitely continue with that because kids have a very good fantasy only you need to work it out a little bit better um, but still welcome to the competitions and I hope to see you next time and Erwin Sunny Ray congratulations on winning the simplistic slash minimalism uh, winning position so then we have one more left and this is actually you know the most important one uh, who, who won the objective winner of the creature? Uh, I have one and his name is um, just me because I think he done a very fantastic job on creating a uh, objective, the creature. Um, it really looks like a creature, but I also think the light is on point, the coloring is on point. Um, so congratulations just me with winning the objective winner of the creature once again everyone um is a winner in my eyes uh, when you join the competition uh, you've made something you tried to show you off your skills um i hope you guys can improve yourself um the people who, who didn't won uh it just it just didn't touch me um but if some of other people have other feedback for it just let me know down below in the comment section why someone else should have won or stop like that Ooh, it is it is hot today man it really uh burns me out so anyways and then we of course the next competition the next weekly challenge subject is going to be a mini store. So I want you to create a very small building, a very small store that looks cozy. It, it sells some nice stuff. You can just, you know, mind up yourself what kind of stuff you sell. Maybe a small bakery, um, um, anything, uh, maybe a small gun store. Uh, just make it look nice. Um, the deadline is going to be May 26 at 2300 hours. And, um, yeah, thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Blender. And also, questions and requests are welcome anytime.